feeling? How are you feeling you're doing right now? Uh, really well. Um, the last, I'd say, four or five days specifically, um, we've had a pretty uh, steady incline of getting better on offense. I, I'd say I probably had my worst day of camp. Um, that one night practice we had, and then since then, some just kind of clicked, and I think our offense is really starting to get the hang of it and, and move in a pretty good direction. Is that uh, a case of knowing the offense a little better and everybody starting to get on the same page? Yeah, um, once you kind of know the offense, it gets to play faster. You get to stop, uh, um, you get to stop pl playing against your own playbook, and you start to play against the opponent, and you get to just play football, and that's kind of what I've been doing. It's just kind of getting in a groove and playing football, not uh, um, not as much kind of fighting the playbook and just trying to get the play going. What about Coach Fisher's offense? Thing? Um, you get, you can do anything. Um, the, the the puzzle pieces are there. It's just how you want to arrange them to. Uh, um, to call anything you want. Uh, there's a really, really large foundation and you can, you can get anything accomplished by just kind of shuffling the pieces around. I really like the versatility of it. Uh, um, I really like the, I really like how everything makes sense. There's a foundation to everything. And, um, uh, it's just, I'm just excited. It's a lot of fun. Is Christian Pabico running with the ones now? What do you like about this game? Um, he just does everything right. Um, he's just kind of one of those guys that, that he doesn't bust routes in terms of uh, um, like running long routes. Uh, he just catches the ball. Uh, he's fast. He gets in and out of breaks. He's just a great receiver that does everything really, really well. Josh, after your interview was published last week, were you surprised by any of the reaction that came from it? No, I mean, he, Coach Moore kind of addressed the whole thing. But um, at this point, I'm just kind of talking about camp and whatnot. Is that... I mean, are you? I was just want clarification. Are you? Are you going to be less apt to kind of speak your mind after stuff like that? No, I mean, we'll see in the future. But right now, I'm training camp, I'm trying to play this coming season. I think we're doing really well. Um, all the guys are heading in a really good direction. I'm excited for uh, tomorrow. I think Theo said uh, he has still a little more uh, timing work to do with you in terms of the long ball. A few, a few days ago, how do you think that's uh, coming along, just your timing with all the receivers? Uh, it's getting there. I mean, there are a lot of guys. I think we got to solidify um, solidify a starting lineup, um, and then you can really start to delve, delve deep into that chemistry. Um, but right now, we're just getting a lot of reps and, and a lot of different looks, and I think we stopped putting in installs maybe, uh, maybe a day or two ago. So we... Um, uh, how we're calling this week the week of details, so uh, just kind of perfecting and, and um, perfecting what we have in, and uh, uh, that I think is what we're going to be doing in the next few days: is, is mastering what we have in, as opposed to just um, just installing the offense like we did last week. Seems like you have a, good, have a good chemistry working with Darren Andrews, and you have a lot of experience with him. What's it like kind of playing with him right now? Yeah, the biggest thing is trust. I would say more so than chemistry, because I just know he's going to be in the right place. Um, I think. DA is one of those reliable guys where he'll have chemistry with any quarterback because you just know um, he's going to be in the right place at the right time. He's fast, he's athletic, uh, and I'd say it's more so on him than me in terms of um, just being the receiver that he is. He's, he's reliable. Anybody asked you about Pabico yet? Uh, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. I won't repeat that. <laughs> it's all good. Yeah, no. awesome. I'm, I'm glad he came. Yeah, I mean, how hard is it not to root for a guy like that who's you know came up fourth string and now he's showing that he can play the that? Yeah, um, it's. It's awesome. Everyone's excited for him. Um, I mean, it's uh, fourth year now. Him uh, and uh, a lot of the other walkers battle their butts up every single day. And um, he's just he kind of waited for a shot patiently for years, and, and here it is, and he's seizing the moment. Coach Fish has talked a little bit about how he tries to help not just you, but all the, the quarterbacks in that room do things to help prepare for you know, potential career at the next level. Or is there any about, anything about what he's done in that regard that you found particularly helpful? Yeah, a lot of it is the tape we watch. Um, we watch a lot of NFL tape um, and pick apart offenses that maybe we we not even run, but he just likes the particular technique of a certain guy. Uh, we a lot of, watch a lot of Matt Ryan and Tom Brady um, and uh, see what they do in, in um, different facets of the game, whether it be their footwork, uh, their ball placement on certain certain throws. I mean, uh, he pulled up film the other day from um, like 10, 20 years ago. Uh, we actually saw some Ed McCaffrey slants, um, but. Uh, yeah, I mean, he um, he's just pulling from from all sorts of uh, places um, with regards to the knowledge he's trying to help us and, and instill in us. Does his background, you know, coaching quite a few years in the NFL, help help with, with some of that stuff from a credibility standpoint? Yes, I, I, yes, I would say, but I think you just kind of have to trust whatever coaches have. 
um, and if you don't, you're kind of destined for failure. So it, it, it does help the credibility, but I think there's an issue kind of with the team or player if they, um, if they don't trust their head coach enough to hire someone that's ready for the job. Has anybody asked about your uh, comments about the... Yes. Uh, the all yes. right. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go back and listen to that later. Okay. <laughs> so I'll ask one more in that, kind of down that lane. Uh, you guys are now an Under Armour school, and the CEO of Under Armour came out and pulled from Trump's committee. Do, do guys on the team talk about stuff like that? Do you discuss politics in the locker room? Um, not really. Uh, I mean, I mean, if we did, it'd probably be during the school year, not as much summer. Mm -hmm. But um, not not particularly. What did you What did you make of that decision by the Under Armour CEO? I mean, it's his decision. <laughs> Hopefully, one day I'll be in a um, a position like him to make some significant decisions. But um, yeah, uh, Mr. Plank does what Mr. Plank wants to do. In terms of your uh, on field ability, how different are you now from where you were coming into UCLA? And, and you know, what is that difference? I think it's cool that I got a taste of three different offenses, honestly. Um, well, I mean, from high school, it's four and four years. Uh, and, um, I mean, Coach Weber, our, our quarterback GA, also was in four offenses in four years in, in Minnesota, and I've been talking with him a lot what it's like. And, and um, you kind of have to, like my injury, you kind of have to find the positive side to, um, to anything. And um, I think with, with uh, that, and the offense is the positive side that you just get to see a lot. Um, you get to, um, you're not sitting in one offense and just kind of like sharpening a sword that's been sharpened for a long time. You, you kind of get to see and understand the different ways different people try to attack offenses or defenses in different ways. And it's, it's cool. You get a bit of a perspective on, and um, uh, my big thing is I like asking why. I like asking why you do this and, and why certain offenses call these plays against these defenses at these times on these downs on these parts of the field. And I think that's the variance that I think has been kind of cool these last few years. The, because the, the, well, do you ever have downs that you, you would be the same quarterback? Um, no, well, I actually, not really. I mean, you uh, kind of, I guess, everyone kind of has to go and confirm it on the field for themselves. Um, and I wouldn't even say it's an injury. Sometimes you just go through a long off season and you're just like, I think that was me last year. <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, I never really doubted myself at any point. Um, I think you have to be confident in who you are, but at the same time, there's also that sort of confirmation you gotta have to give to yourself that you get in the field and you throw that pass. And you're like, I feel pretty good. Was I think there I'm, a moment? Sorry? You, was there a moment when you knew you were 100% bad? Um, no, but I'd say about three or four days ago I kind of felt as though I am my old self in the field I kind of have that confidence that I used to have um, I'm not my eyes I'm not my eyes aren't even coming close to the rush because I'm I'm firm in knowing where my hots are and, and where everyone is on the field I think a few days ago I really started to hit my stride and, and become um, the player that I th think I was uh, a while ago when I was rolling one question about um, your Bleach Report comments. I guess one, the one question I had after reading it was, do you, do you have any solutions that you can offer as far as the compatibility or things that you know the school's uh, athletics uh, people can do to, to help kind of make this a better situation? We'll see. <laughs> okay. <laughs>